Hello, this is Andrew Pyle again, here for another demonstration. Before I go into too much explanation, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the demonstration for it then. For those who are interested, you can listen on for more explanation. But without further ado, I give you the Z board. In addition to the Z board, I'm also using this VGA display. So what this project entails is I designed a hardware module in VHDL for the VGA. Uh, the nifty thing about this module is that it's AXI memory mapped, so the high level stuff is done in software that runs on the Cortex A9. And what that does is it, it has a whole bunch of code that writes to memory basically. So all the low level stuff is handled by the VGA module. Uh, to be perfectly honest, Xilinx already provides a bunch of modules that can do this already. However, just for the learning experience, I decided to go ahead and try to implement the VGA uh, protocol, which is pretty simple. It's mostly just timing. Um, Basically, you wait a certain amount of time, and then you, you start writing, and then all the VGA module does is it drives this H-Sync and V-Sync signals at a specific rate. And in between those times, you're also sending data through the, the VGA color pins. But uh, I'll go into deeper detail when I finish writing the blog, and I'll also put out the software, not the software, I also have the description for the VGA module posted on my GitHub. That might not happen until next week though. Uh, for now, I just have this. Later on though, I have plans to basically do something similar but also use the Linux operating system. Initially that was my, uh, my goal here but I thought it'd be a good idea to show how the AXI4 full protocol is done which I'll explain once I have the blog up. So that's what the VGA uh, module is implementing. And that basically, basically concludes this video.